think it's important, first of all, to inspire a love of books. Like, you're never too young to enjoy a good book, and you're also never too old. And this is a great place to discover new stories. Just, it's a great place to get together, whether you're hanging out at a program or just hanging out in the teen room. So I would say I have so many fond memories of the children's room, coming to story time and getting out books and coming to programs, that when I started to work here, um, my love of that place came right back and it's still one of my favorite places in the library. My favorite part of the library is reading the books over here and I like meeting all the other kids. And there's a ton of resources as well for people who are looking for a job or who need to print something. You can find a little bit of everything here. There's always something going on and something new to discover and it's just a very exciting place to be. But one thing that's really unique about us is our staff. The staff is going to be unique in every facility. And we have gotten amazing staff here at the William K. Sanford Library. We have a whole bunch of amazing librarians in our children, teens, and adult apartments that have very creative ideas for programs, whether it be arts and crafts related or literacy or STEAM. Uh, we have a whole bunch of stuff that I know only our library does that other libraries, like just because we have the people here who are coming up with these new ideas. So we have lots of programs. Uh, we have programs that are educational in nature, we have programs fun for kids, um, we have programs for all ages. We also have educational classes, we have technology classes, uh, services, we have public Wi-Fi, we have computers, public access computers faxing, one-on-one -on -one appointments for specific help. So many more things than that. We have at our library loan service, um, a lot of services that we have that we offer to our community. That My favorite part about the library is all the programs here at the library, library where I can just learn new things and help out. Right now, I was at an English help program where I help people from other countries that come here to our area and help them adapt to English and understand all of our holidays and what they are about. It's really a great way to understand and learn more about our community and while still doing a service. We have a group, uh, the Friends of the William K. Sanford Town Library is a group of volunteers that get together that their mission is to support the library and they do fundraising for us. We also have a very strong um, teen group of volunteers. We have a teen advisory group. So that group meets during the school year and they plan all the teen events. Um, at times they do independent activities that benefit the library. It's a nice place to come uh, get your kids and then uh, spend nice time and then uh, also uh, uh, get the habit of uh, reading uh, pretty early. And uh, instead of buying books, I think if you come to the library and then make it a habit of borrowing books and expose them to more books. Uh, when they come here, they see more books that they know of. This library is so important to the community as it's really a central gathering place for our community to be. It provides early literacy, we provide senior programming, we provide computer access, um, and it's a place that's open for the public to be for growth and um, lifelong learning. So it's really a central part of our community. So our unofficial mascot is Liberty the Turkey because when the parts of the library were being built it disturbed a family of turkeys living in the library and one of them tried to enter the library so the turkey is our unofficial mascot now. The very first location of this library was not here. Before it had this building, the first location was next door to a firehouse on Albany Shaker Road and you have to used to have to go in through the basement and back in a park, back parking lot, a very small location. And then, um, prior to this building being built, the library moved into Colony Center. So a lot of people don't know this library actually used to exist in Colony Center right prior to this building being built. So there's a fun fact. <laughs>